So let's assign a tempo and a time signature to a scene in session view. I'm gonna right click on my scene here, choose rename, hit 145 BPM 68. Now we're gonna launch this scene and we're gonna notice this stays at 120 BPM and 44. If you're running into this exact issue in session view, I'm gonna show you how to solve it in this video. So if you're using Live 11 and you're trying to rename your scenes like I did in the intro using rename to add a tempo and a time signature, it is not going to work. There was a change in Live 11 that forces you to change your tempo time signature in one of two ways in session view. Let me show you how. The first way is to put your mouse to the left of your master track. You'll see a little kind of square bracket icon we can click and drag. And as we drag that out, we'll see that each scene has its own individual tempo and own individual time signature that we can access here. So we can click into this and type 145, right, for our uh, tempo. And then we can go in and say, let's change this to six slash eight to add uh, a time signature to that. Now I can go back and instead of renaming to add that info, I can rename the scene to be uh, scene A, okay? And that's the first way we can rename scenes. Uh, it takes a couple extra steps, but it's certainly possible. It's not the end of the world, but it's also possible to do this without adding it there. So I can go to a scene and I can double click right on the scene number. And what you'll see down here at the bottom is what's called scene view. And again, this is brand new to live 11. I can do the same exact thing in scene view as I can do on the scene itself. So I can go to tempo here and let's click into this. Let's make this 95. Let's go to our time signature and let's make this two. Four. And as soon as I do that, you'll see that that scene gets assigned a new tempo and a new time signature. So what's nice about this, while it's a couple extra steps, I could click and fold this back up. And if I really quickly want to rename to uh, change the tempo time signature of my scenes, I could double click to get to scene view to edit that there. So that's great. But I wanna warn you, if you're doing this so that you can run click and tracks in session view, there is a better way, my friend. I wanna share that exact process plus a free tracks template that you can get by heading to from studio to stage.com slash template. The thing is most content that exists on the internet about performing with Ableton Live has to do with live looping or it's DJ showing you how to perform on stage with pre-recorded content. But if you're gonna perform on stage with Ableton Live using backing tracks, you should be using Arrangement View. I'll show you exactly how to build a full set of songs in Arrangement View very, very quickly and do it in a way that doesn't take time, that is gives you freedom and flexibility, and most importantly, is stable. So you can repeat at any moment. You can press play and just let your songs play. No more follow actions, no more counting measures to try uh, to set up follow actions, and you have full access to tempo and time signature changes in this view and you don't have to try to automate and figure them out in session view. So if you're looking to use Ableton Live to run backing tracks live on stage, again, head to from studio to stage.com slash template to download my free tracks template. Plus you'll get access to my free six day email course where I'll show you exactly how to use that template to format your songs and build a set so that you can have freedom and flexibility on stage and have it without spending hours and hours worth of time and do it in a way that's incredibly stable. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you on the next one. Take care everybody, bye.